Nation. That's the most peaceful music provider. Peace and blessings. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's being peaceful. If not, I hope you're busting guns. That's how I bust guns. That's when I go into war. Then people be like, yo, this guy is fucked up. Let him go. Um, besides my shit talking, thank you for your subs, your likes, your tears, your time. More than anything, we're here for the damn music. Um, if you're into, into, into pink hats, holla at your boy. Um, if you're new to the channel and you want to see me move my hat around a lot, hit the notification button, hit the subscribe button, come hang out, Metal Mondays, WTF Wednesdays, what the fuck? Fridays? No, I just remixed that. Friday Night Lives and Sunday Roots. Let's get to these islands. Um, your time more than anything. We're here for the damn music. For live, since you guys enjoyed Dimebag Daryl uh, display his skills in the guitar, I figured let's try Mr. Steve Vai. So, for Friday Night Live, we get Steve Vai Freak Show Excess Demonstration. It's just him rocking out, I'm assuming. Are you with me? If you're not, oh well. Too bad for you. Let's go. That little guitar makes all that noise. Freak show excess. Hi folks, this is Steve Vai here, and I'm What's here up, at the Mothership Studios in Hollywood. Gotcha. And uh, I have a record out called Real Illusions, and there is a track off that record called Freak Show Excess that I'm going to tell you a little bit about. Um, Freak Show Excess because um, it's kind of over the top. Uh, but this song basically... At least he's aware that he's doing some ridiculous shit. My enjoyment of Bulgarian wedding music. Because if you listen to Bulgarian wedding music, you'll find that these guys are completely out of their mind, <laughs> the guys that play. And, Bulgarian uh, wedding one music. One band that I'm referring to is a, a band called Ivo Papasov and his Bulgarian wedding band. And uh, their, their, their whole frame of mind when it comes to things like creating melodies and playing on their instruments and using time signatures and phrasing is completely alien. I mean, they're very comfortable in, in very odd time signatures, although they don't feel it as such. And they're very comfortable playing in different modes that uh, basically have no reflection to Western music at all. Uh, and their phrasing and the way that they hit their notes is very different. So in order to find inspiration to apply to the guitar... That's interesting. I studied some different of parts of the world do it different. came up with some cool techniques. And I'm going to play a little bit of the song. It's like a seven-minute fiasco and uh, just show you uh, some of the things that I came up with for the track that I thought were uh, he's the dude that I thought was arrogant his face was arrogant he had the puffy Seinfeld okay. shirt on but he was my going in session open insane with, uh, on the guitar so about four million tracks I've since learned he's a very nice person and the song starts me. out with a and he a, seems real cool percussion uh, it's weird uh oh I start with this percussion intro thing but the thing that I would do and one of the reasons it takes me so long to finish a record is I'll take something like what you just heard and I'll make a, a loop out of it okay so I created this little loop over the intro and that goes on forever and what I'll do is kind of sit for a while and just fool just around rock out with uh, with that intro 
Discover some things, but um, finally the song comes in. Okay, now what you're hearing there is you know the accompaniment, but the but the guitar. I'm going to solo the guitar so you can kind of hear the phrasing. Because what I was doing in this melody is focusing very intently on the phrasing of the way that the melody is played. <laughs> So I started playing around over the vamp and started to come up with this melody. Yo, you know how many melodies this man plays and to remember them all and when they transition? So many. Just one performance is like freaking half hour, and then he has 30 of those different type of performances. Oh my god, this man's brain is insane. It took a lot of time to actually get this to fit in my fingers to get every slide and everything to sound like a different phrasing. And uh, I'll do it slow. There's no other way to create that, that sound than to go. And then when you combine Here it the is like and, then, and then the next part, the fingering is very important in order to make it flow a certain way. You know, in order to get all those little... And you got to work on those phrasing. It's very unguitaristic. Are you paying attention, guitarist, guitar, potential guitar players? Pay attention. Like, you guys know what he's talking about. That's how I make my grilled cheeses. So that's how I came up with that melody. Moving right along. Okay, this, this next section, which is the uh, B section, goes like this. Melody guitar sounds like this. Okay, what, what I did there was the same concept, trying to come up with phrasing that was just a little different than the norm. And what I came up with after listening to the vamp and playing over it was this. What that is is, you know, the first riff is. It seems pretty harmless, but it's a cool riff, and, and the way that I got it to. To, to work under my fingers was to just make an exercise out of it. I mean, I would just go. Okay, this is not a song, so there's no really reason, no real reason for me to pause this. We should be watching, which is cool about these type of thing. I like this because I feel like I'm watching it with you guys. Like we're just chilling on the couch and we're talking. Too bad we can't do this live. Um, but he's taking his time. This is what. For anybody who's potential to do anything, even if it's making sandwiches, my favorite topic on the planet, you got to do it a lot, over and over, every little keystroke, every little small, minute detail. Like, you hear him talking about it, the way he's explaining that you're not going to get this sound unless you do this certain thing. So he had to do this certain thing a million times in a... I'm sure for him by now it's second nature, like memorizing and remembering, which is cool. But the, we got to remember the process and years and years of everything he was going through to become who he is now. This is what I'm saying. People, I know people who can't go to the studio because they can't hear the metronome. They're like, y'all got to get the fuck out of here. I can't take this. So imagine sitting there. My whole point, I know I'm rambling. The whole point is, like I said before, he has so many different pieces of music that he wrote. So think about every little note that he took time to put. Because all we get is the performance. And you hear, he does all that crazy shit. But within that one crazy thing, he does this. Which is why we should watch these videos more often. Because maybe you get an appreciation of the music more. When you see how much time he puts into this shit. Just cause look at just This is a 14 minute video. And he's just talking about pieces of a song that he's putting together. Imagine a, a album, a body of work, his years and years of work. This man's brain is a, is a 
amazing. Let's go. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm playing. I could make it more melodic, but um, I was trying to get the note to kind of hang. Hear it? And then that little trill in there. the phrasing starting to take place and then the next part that's a very it's a tongue twister for your fingers because the guitar sounds like it's talking so that's Although a good way to put it 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 may sound weird it fits very nicely it's a tongue twister well, i like the way he put that because it is a conversation it has to be he has okay, to be able like the second B section I doubled it up I know I'm talking over him oh well just to add a little it has to be that you're trying to write guitar music like it is leverage because it has to make sense like a conversation you can't say and I was going monkey pie no you have to the C section here is more conventional type drums but it's the orchestration of it that makes it interesting when it comes back around and it's all the harmonies <laughs> Next section here, uh, I have this clean guitar coming in, and this is a very characteristic of uh, Bulgarian music. It's in 1716, and the way that I wrote this up is, uh, and this is a good way to practice odd meters. When, when you're playing an odd meter, you don't necessarily, or at least the way I approach it, is you don't necessarily want it to sound so much like an odd meter. Uh, but I like it when it flows. So. Um, the way to do that is to make the rhythm feel second nature to you and completely natural. Uh -huh. So the, this riff goes like this. And the way that it's subdivided, it's, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven, bar seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wish I knew how to do shit. The phrase with the picking makes it roll nicely off your fingers when you get it. It's a hammers, it's a series of hammers and pull-offs. So when you get a groove happening on it, you know, it starts to feel like a piece of music as opposed to just... What's the carpal tunnel percentage for... Hammers and pull-offs that... Uh, Guitarist. This shit has and to be You do crazy. it for a long period of time and you get a groove on it. Effortlessly. Effortlessly. Now, soloing over an odd time signature takes a whole different feel also. I mean, you can solo in 4-4, four, four, but uh, or what's natural. But uh, what I would normally do is set up a vamp over something like this and just work on it, uh, practice to solo, 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 and, and try to come up with things that sound natural without necessarily thinking that I'm in seven. And uh, come up with things where the, the phraseology of them sounds very natural and not regimented into a particular time signature. So here's some ideas. <laughs> I left thumb off. Got a thing for guitarists? 
Does that, does that left thumb come into play? Okay, so if you're that, I'll sit for a while it. until I come up with some interesting things or an idea, and then I'll work on it. And the solo in this song, if you listen to it, it doesn't sound anything like what I was just doing because I really made a conscious effort to try to uh, incorporate that Bulgarian melodic idea into the way I phrase the guitar solo. And you can hear it. So if you listen to the actual solo that's on the record, you'll hear a lot of those little idiosyncrasies, you know, those grace notes, which is very cu uh, customary in, in the Bulgarian melody music where they'll go like... Yeah. Stuff like that, but you got to work on that. Like I know slow. Bulgarian And music. then they'll do a lot of things with... Uh, you know, these melodies with all these... Um, these quick glissandos. When you start combining these things, you get... Well, since this is the case, what country has the most difficult guitar cool kind of techniques? Thing, you know? um, or style of music that's the most difficult solo, to play? It's all chock full. It's a fair question. Stuff. It's got to be a thing. sitting and working on that and figuring it out for you <laughs> there it is so this song if you listen to the other uh, out of control weird sections you'll hear the same kind of thing going on and the point I'm making here is it's okay to to immediately go to the thing you're always comfortable with but if you look outside of the box and try to find some things that inspire you to, to do uh, maybe a little different things on the instrument or not so normal or whatever you can incorporate them into your playing and eventually it'll feel very normal but it'll be unique to what you do so you gotta kinda listen for those things and have the time and the patience to, to work them out patience great lesson good looking out Steve Vai Steve Vai Freak Show Excess Demonstration. This was dope, man. Like I said before, just like the Dimebag Daryl, even though from what I'm told, that was like a clinic, they call it, in a guitar um, shop or some shit like that. This was dope because he, you got to see his his uh, process, I guess, his mental process on how he puts things together. So if you're aspiring to be a guitarist, or I'm assuming it applies to everything, if you want to get the right drum kick and the right, you know what I'm saying, you got to do it over and over and listen to different types of music from all over the world and get different variations so you can come up with your own style. Yeah, man, this is a life, lifelong journey if you want to become Steve Vai level uh, guitarist, right? That was dope, man. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think of this man's work process. Man, I think it's amazing. Just the fact that he has all that in his brain and to remember it, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's even more difficult than lyrics, I would think. Because a song is a song. You're repeating it lyric for lyric. And you perform, let's say, uh, Beyonce. She's not a musician, she's a singer, so it's probably easier for her to remember all the lyrics. Her dance moves might be a more something a little more difficult to remember. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many, you know what I'm saying? And Steve Vai, his whole guitar shit is amazing. It's just crazy. But I think I've said it over and over again. It's, he's, he's, a, he's a special dude. Um, and you're right. He's, he comes off as a really genuine, cool dude. I, I, was, I, was, I, never, I didn't disrespect him or say nothing crazy about him. I just said he seemed arrogant. But it was just his skill level was that great that you look at him like, man, shut the fuck up. All right, you're good. You're good. Get away. All right, all right, get it. I get it. You're fucking awesome. That was the vibe I guess I got from him. But, um, I know I'm talking a lot. Thank you for your subs, your likes, your shares, your time. More than anything, we're here for this music. If you're new and want to subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification button. Come hang out. Metal Mondays, WTF Wednesdays, Friday Night Live, Sunday Roots with Bob Marley over here. We're going to get to the island music soon. Um, and when I mean island, I mean all over. You know what I'm saying? I mean root shit. Give me some Africa, Angola, some shit from, from Zimbabwe, from, you know what I'm saying? From all over the goddamn world, man. Let's get to it. Double RT, the internet's newest and most peaceful music provider here at your service. I bid you a deep peace. Pat, pat. Oh, and Jen, you like
on all 